There is absolutely nothing better in life than dice, cards, and swords, magic, and guns. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm reading the, the Steam <laughs> page for the game. This is this is Diceomancer, which is a new roguelike deck building game uh, where you make the most out of your deck and dice in a world filled with swords, magic, and guns. That's where that's where I got that that line from. Um, this one looks really cool, to be honest, and I want to check it out. Uh, it's a part of the Steam Next Fest. You know how it goes at this point. I basically repeat the same things every day. Uh, let's play and check out Dysomancer. I've heard very good things about this. I don't know what prologue is. I'm assuming this is possibly a story. Um, I mean, look, we both know where I'm at with life. Maybe this isn't a story. Maybe this is, uh, maybe this is a tutorial. That could be, that could be true. You know what? It looks like it's a tutorial, and that seems like something we should do. What a great day. Let's go fishing on the west side of the village. Okay, I, I don't know why... I don't know why going the opposite direction on a Slay the Spire-esque map is, like, messing with my brain. And why does he have an Alexa hood on? So many questions that we have yet to, to conquer. So, hello, Mr. Ordinary Wolf. Uh, basic tutorial, 1 out of 5. This is the mana cost of the card. Okay, so this is a 1 mana card. This has 3 mana for me. This is my mana pool. Every turn I get three. Okay. Mana limit is four. Go over and the first mana gained vanishes. Okay. Uh, on turns end, all hand cards are discarded. Uh, try to use strike. So strike deals three damage to the ordinary wolf, who is a bad wolf and can be a bully sometimes. Uh, I will attack you. So can we see what you're going to do to me? Um... I suppose I don't know what you're gonna do to me. I'm gonna put on some some block as a just in case. I love the animations, dude. Uh, it's truly a, a charming little game. Go ahead. Uh, okay, here's your enemy intention. So you're gonna hit me for three damage twice. Uh, plan wisely in response to the enemy's intentions. And I will, and I will. I will guard, I will guard, uh, and then I will hit you for three. I have played Slay the Spire a couple of times in my life. Uh, so I, I think I can handle basic strikes and defense <laughs> in, a, in a card game. Go ahead, put your, your guards up, and then next turn we will hopefully just kill you. And that would make me feel very happy in life. One and a two. Goodbye, Mr. Ordinary Wolf. I will choose a new card. Haha, -ha, heal 12, draw two cards, fragile. Removes the card from the game after use. It's an ethereal card. Um, makes total sense to me. Let's go into our next fight. Hello, um, Piggy. Everybody be cool. This is a robbery. You reduce damage taken by three. It's disgusting. Um, I can't kill you. <laughs> you. If you reduce damage taken by three, how am I ever going to, to destroy you? I suppose we're going to find out right now. No damage. Watch out. This Piggy has special ability, Thick Skin. Cuts Piggy's damage by three, so regular strike cards can't harm it. Try to use a more powerful card. Okay, the one-time crossbow. Mana with color. This card is effective, but requires mana to use. Mana comes from any blue card. Drag a card to the mana pool to exchange it for mana. Here, both strike and one-time crossbow can be exchanged for mana. Okay, so it's a blue card, so I can use it as mana. I don't believe I have enough mana. Can I... What am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? I believe I don't have enough mana. Don't I have... That's my block, brother. I don't know how to get mana, I suppose. That's something I'm gonna have to figure out. How to how to receive... How to receive uh, mana. Let's, let's just chill. Okay, I don't have any... I don't have any cards. You, you hit me? Now, if I use this, I don't have enough mana. Ah, by discarding a... Okay, I, I think I probably missed that. <laughs> but discarding a card, I get uh, the ability... This is a void card. Understood. Okay, we're, we're all... In. It's a good thing I did the damn tutorial. <laughs> so the strikes I can discard... In order to get, well, now I, well, now, now we're just all kinds of messed up, brother. Now we're all kinds of messed up. Okay. Convert you into mana. Now, can I hold on to that mana for next turn? 
I can up to four and then I hit you with this. Oh, frick me. And then I do this and then I hit you with this. Okay. Thank you. I just can't read. That's a known issue for Tyler. Uh, so don't worry too much about it. Here, here's our event. A strange girl. Great art, man. I met a girl. Swords and shields are so boring. Try these goodies. Okay. That sounds good. We now have dice, by the way. Uh, and then everything is going to get kind of funky in this next fight. So multicolor mana cost. Um, this means that we can either use purples or the the void if you have a purple and a void void is saved first using colored mana first okay gotcha okay sure so you are a healthy piggy you're doing five damage to me so this gains me four dice bonus so it's going to use the the uncolored mana first this is a check 10, roll a d20 if the result equals to or is greater than the check value, resolve its effects. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure. So, I, so what is, <laughs> what are dice bonus then? When rolling dice, roll an extra die and take the highest result, then lose one dice bonus. Okay, we would roll an extra die. And take the highest. Okay. For every six dice bonus, we roll one more extra die. This just got so freaking complicated. Holy. Um, why is my brain broken now? I cannot use my one-time crossbow. So, so let's just turn that into that kind of mana right now. Then I'm going to gain a dice bonus. Ah. But I also have to discard you to get that kind of mana. And then I'll 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 check you. So this is going it's incredible, man. So 13 and 8, we take the 13, which means I hit you for 8. And then I can still gain 3 block, but I don't have enough mana because you need the other kind of mana. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose heavily at this game. Uh, I'm screwed, is is the harsh reality. If you had any hope in me succeeding, you can throw that away. Uh, cause I, there's, there's no shot. So I'm going to utilize this card, which deals damage equal to our die roll. It's between a one and a 20. Um, a six? Really? A six? All that for a six? That seems, uh, that seems horrible. I'd like to, to heal and draw some cards. I'm gonna hit you for 10. Great shot, brother. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to convert you into mana and I hit you for 10. Okay. I'm I'm understanding and also broken at the same time. Keep on giving me these ethereal cards that I'm just wasting. <laughs> okay, hello, fist of the pig king. I'm about to get fisted by the pig king. Uh okay. You're dealing 12 damage. I want to utilize this card to hopefully gain block. So I'm gonna turn you into that. I'm gonna check you before I wreck you. I want low roll. Okay, sure, I'm gonna hit you for eight. Things just got complicated. Why is this piggy so strong? You won't be able to handle it like this? Here's something good for you. Okay, you can use dice to change any number you see on the screen. This change is permanent until you die. Try playing with this deck brother what the frick is going on okay um permanently change the target number to the value on the die this what the frick <laughs> okay this deals 99 damage to all enemies and then 99 damage to myself what if i just kill you you got 500 damage on you man so permanently change the target what the frick is this i can just change the numbers on the screen okay i'm gonna change the amount of damage you're dealing me to two then i'm going to change I mean, changing my health, this is a D6, right? So I'm, I'm gonna change your health to a, or your, yeah, your health to a three. What the frick is going on, dude? <laughs> the most interesting game I've ever seen in my life, for sure.
Um, you now... If I use the bomb, I'm not gonna live, right? Uh, so... <laughs> what if I change my health to... A lower number, thus dividing by six? And my health is now going... Okay, my health is now six. Seemingly a horrible idea. Um, so let's just change other things. I'm going to... I don't even know what this number is up here. What 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 number is this? I got no clue. Um, we can... Oh, hold on. The, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to instead deal a tiny amount of damage to myself. So, four damage to myself, but 99 to all enemies. Okay, um, effectively... Oh, but I didn't change this. <laughs> I'm actually gonna lose in the tutorial. <laughs> Frick me, brother. Fr I did I did it all kind of right, okay? Um, do me a favor, change this number. A three is good enough, okay? Because now you're gonna hit me for two. You gotta give me another bomb, brother. I'm very stupid. Um, just don't worry about it, okay? This is gonna deal four damage to myself. I need to I need to change this number to a five. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And then four damage to myself, 99 to you. Get out. Okay. Uh, this game is going to collapse my brain. It, it is going to actively ruin me. I just saw something purple in the distance. Feels like it's getting closer and closer. Feels wrong. That's not good. Time to go home. Sure. And, and now I'm probably in the tutorial. Power to change numbers comes with a cost. Purple mist will chase you throughout your journey. Okay. Whenever you move forward, it will also chase you a small step forward. Don't let it catch up to you. Am I, am I timed in these? Maybe there's going to be ways for me to move off of the map. I, I'd imagine that's going to be the case. Like certain paths are just... I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay, I'm, I'm all messed up for sure. Purple fog keeps spreading. In the haze, I seem to see things of not of this world. This world is broken. He he girl appears again besides me. Because you used that dice card to change the numbers in this world, it's quite useful, right? Otherwise, you would have been beaten by Piggy Boss. I am a god. Only a god can do such incredible things. I came to save you. If you stay here, you'll be swallowed by these purple strange things, she says with this with a smile, even though it's a frightening thing. Escape this world with me. Okay, uh, welcome to my home. Oh no, it's an anime game. This is the middle realm, the junction between parallel worlds. The world we just left is no more. But I can take you to countless almost identical worlds. However, no matter where you go, you'll have a purple mist chasing after you. If you can run all the way to the center of the royal city, I'll send you to a world where you'll have time to leisurely fish. Good luck. Don't forget to bring dice or you won't last an hour. Oh, what the frick? Okay, so we do have an upgrade system. Are you a... Are you meta progression? All of these appear to be upgraded. You can upgrade dice in the shop. I can use dice in the loot screen. Unlock new blue cards. Okay. Some stuff appears to be unlocked by default as a part of the, the demo. Let's, let's hit prepare. So select your class. Your class and your start deck will be generated based on the mana orbs you've chosen. You will gradually unlock other orbs along the journey. For now, drag and drop this to the center. Okay, sure. I'm just gonna hit confirm. After deciding your class, you will receive some starting relics. Relics are very useful, be sure to check it. Activated relics such as the one dice need a click to trigger its effects, remember to use them. Okay, the one dice, require charge two, press to activate, permanently change the target number to a die choice of my desire. When the time passes, charge for this relic. Just hit play. This is going to... It, I'm going to warn you right now, okay? My brain is not fit for this game. Um, you are going to scream for the next approximately 25 minutes, okay? If that's something that interests you, then stay. If you're going to scream, you might want to leave, okay? <laughs> you might want to leave. Familiar scenery, let's go a bit further and see. 
Ah, yeah, okay, this is where we're gonna have to make... Oh, this is a fricked up map, brother. <laughs> okay, let's go... Because I assumingly I can move, like, down as well. Let, let's snake up this way, and then I'll go to some of this crap over here. So, I'm going down here, and I'm, I'm going in. Hello, Mr. Bush Warrior. Good to see you. Deal 12 damage, loaded ammo 1. After casting, reduce one loaded ammo. When it reaches zero, I need to reload the card. Okay. So, I am going to hit you for 12, because I, I can do that. Okay? I'm going to hit you for 12, get sniped in the head. My Sage Charm activated. When an enemy's health bar is broken, draw two cards, gain two block. It's very nice to have. Permanently change the target number to a dice value. Okay, I would like to... I mean, I really don't need to do that. Right? I can just hit you for four. The reality is I want to start changing numbers because that's fun as frick. Um, but I'm not going to do it yet. Choose between three new cards. Gain three block, gain two fortified. Kick three. When casting, you can discard up to three cards. For each card discarded, duplicate this card. Uh, you're interesting, actually. But you're a two mana. You're also a two mana. Deal ten. On Miracle, deal twelve. Miracle, if this card isn't drawn at this turn's draw card phase, trigger its effect when, when casting. If this card isn't drawn at this turn's draw card phase, what in the world does that mean? Ah, so basically if I drew that... That actually seems lit. So if I drew this as a result of drawing cards based on some other effect. So we basically want to gain draw in our deck. I mean, come on, I gotta know what this is, right? It's a shop. I should not have come here, but that's okay. Um, gain block equal to three dice being rolled. What the frick? After casting this card, add a one-time copy of it to your hand and reduce the required mana of the copied card by one. Just send it. Let's let's utilize it. But now I can go up. Upon going up, I'm getting screwed over. Okay. Because now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in the damn storm. Uh, almost in the damn storm. An abandoned treasure chest just sitting by the road. But there's a catch. It's got a tricky safety lock. Mess with it, and it go kaboom. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do this. I mean, we, we check our d20. If we get a, a, a 16, then success. Otherwise, I lose 3 HP. I got a 16, brother, so frick you. <laughs> I'm gonna get my, my random relic. My random relic is a twig. When picked up, upgrade two strike slash block cards. Uh, and we watch those get upgraded, so that's very nice for me. I'm now right up against the storm, which is problematic, but don't worry about it. Several cabinets and large tables set up by the roadside covered with modification tools. While quite basic, they were sufficient for some enjoyable tinkering. Okay, I would like to, uh, I would like to add some spikes. We're gonna modify a card to add some spikes. Do you think you add spikes to damage or add spikes to block? I got no clue. Let's, let's do it to... Let's do it to this miraculous strike. This is the upgraded one, by the way. These are the two cards that got upgraded. So they basically gained Miracle, um, which is cool. Let, let's, let's do it on this strike. So what... Can I take a look at my deck? Ah, deal six damage to a random enemy. Dude, pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Let's move to here. I'm ready for combat. I'm ready to get messed up by by the game, okay? I'm well and prepared. So I gotta reload my crossbow, um, which is totally fair. Let, let's do that. That goes now back in my deck. We're going to gain block equal to the die roll, which was three. Then we're going to gain four block. And then I'm going to gain... I'd like to gain some block, but I cannot do that. Um, permanently change the targeted number to the to the rolled die. Permanently change. Okay. So, if I use you, I'm going to change... Permanently change. 
I feel like you want to use these charges on my cards, right? If the number of a card is changed permanently, that card gains the distorted keyword. Okay, I don't necessarily know what that means. So that, that terrifies me. Um, let's just change your damage then. A three means that I don't take damage here. I don't know what distorted means. Possibly that's something that we could look in, in a glossary. No, no glossary? Fair enough. I, I will, uh... I guess I will, I will cry a little then. It'd be nice to know what distorted means. Here's a, a library. Don't, don't have anything there. And then the combat log is nice to have, but I'm, I'm not going to keep it on. It takes up a lot of space on the screen. So, you hit me. You hit me. You guys are dealing 10 damage to me. I can permanently change a, a number. This card rocks, uh, but it's, it's extremely expensive. This is just a uh, die value of the, it's a D8. So it's one to eight damage. Let's, let's do this, okay. That breaks you, which gives me block and draws my other cards. Permanently change the targeted number. Permanently. <laughs> okay, it's just fun to use. So what if, what if we, this is dangerous though, cause I could accidentally change, I could change this to, um, I could change it to one and then we're like really screwed on that. So I don't really want to do that. Um, I can't change anything on these per se. I can change my draw pile, which I don't even know what that means for me. Right? If I permanently change my draw pile to four, does it just add four random cards to my hand? Yeah, I guess. Um, or did it take them out of... I have no clue. I think it took them out of my discard pile. So this we still have charges on, so I can still mess with these. Um, I'd, I'd like... <laughs> I don't know, it's so messy. I'd like to change this number. We now it's a six. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. We're gonna discard this block to gain a phantom to gain a, a blue, right? I'm gonna pop this, which is going to roll an eight. I now am blocking all of you. This is a, a temporary one. And I can discard you to get the blue. I don't have the blue. Never mind. I thought I had the. I thought because you. I did no. It. I don't know. It didn't go according to plan. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like to hit you, because that's gonna break your your shield, right? Then I'd like to hit you. That kills you completely. I have a ton of mana still. This is going to do D8's worth of damage, which is a six. And then you're going to be four and I'm going to kill you. I mean, we, we played great, I suppose. Maybe. I don't know. Um, choose deal five damage to a random enemy or gain five block. Upon drawing this card, draw one more. After casting, reduce one remain. Exert the card when it reaches zero. You're interesting, for sure. Deal four damage, kick three. But kicking... For each card discarded, we duplicate this card. I think this is not a great card, though. Deal seven damage. Repeat this once for each card with temporary. And it has a loaded ammo. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is, is too... I'm gonna take this. It's too intelligent for me. I'm not smart enough. Okay? I'm just simply not smart enough. All allies are going to gain a D4's worth of block. Okay. That's good. I like the idea of reloading my crossbow, to be fair. Um, but I'm going to start with this. I'm going to deal five damage to a random enemy, which hits you. Then I'm going to hit you, which breaks your thing, gives me two, right? Miracle is currently active on this. So this is a, a nine damage card. I like that. I'm going to do that on you, which then draws another miracle. 
So now I've got I've got 10 damage happening to me. You guys lost your ability because I got rid of your second bar. How very interesting. Okay. Miracle is currently active on this sucker too, but unfortunately we, we can't get there unless I change my current mana to a higher value. Okay, and now I have a blue active. So Miracle is now active. I'm going to hit you for, for 12. My Sage Charm gave me another card, which this is then another Miracle. What the frick? Um, so then I'm going to use my Charge on my die to increase my mana to a higher value. I'm going to hit you for... Well, this gets a little wonky. I'm going to hit you for 10 to use that mana. Can I then convert... I can't convert any of these, and these mana values are, are actually actively useless. But you're dealing five damage to me, which I have six block. Um, and now, frankly, I'd love to reload my crossbow for next time, and then I'd like to just hit you. Kinda, kinda goaded. This game is extraordinarily cool. I'm gonna be terrible at it, but it is really cool. So draw four cards is crazy because of Miracle, right? We, we love that. This is a shop. I don't care about it. I'm going to go up here instead. But going up here is going to put me in the damn storm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's a little, little spicy. Hello, Mr. Goose. Good to see you. You have a lot of health, buddy. After your turn start, gain a random intention, which will discard your card. After you cast any card, discard a card from your hand. Disgusting, I'd like that to go away, so I'm gonna snipe you, which breaks your health bar. Then I would like to deal five damage to a random enemy. Okay, that breaks your health bar again. That now has given us the ability to draw multiple blocks. This also does random damage, which hits Mr. Goose again. Um, I would like to... I would like to, to deal, you know what? I'd like to draw four cards, which looks insane. Then I would like to permanently change this number. <coughs> I hope permanently doesn't mean permanently. I'd like to change that to a four now. Okay, I mean, this is still okay. This deals damage based on the, the, the eight, which breaks you, which keeps this going, okay? Then we're gonna do this. I'm gonna deal five damage to a random enemy and you're gonna duplicate yourself. Then I'm going to hit you for four. I don't have enough mana. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Um, Yeah, that's a good point. I can play this block. So I might as well play that block. You know what? We take no damage. I'm considering this a big win. You hit me for six, you hit me for four. Um, I move on with my life, and that's okay. And now our mana is, is still four. Miracle is not active. However, I can kill Mr. Goose, which is good. This is active because of Miracle. I'm going to reload my crossbow. You're hit hitting me for five. Five is, is irrelevant. Not needed. Terrible, perhaps, even. Now, um... I'd love to get a ton of block on me. So I'm going to discard you. And I'm going to discard you in order to play this. Which, five? <laughs> is horrible? It's absolutely horrible. I'm going to discard you to turn that blue. And we're going to put this temporary for 12. Now that's that's more, more up my alley, my friend. So now I have a ton of block. You're just going to keep on getting stronger. Um, but that's why I have a crossbow. So, get sniped, get out of here, choose between more cards. Remove the temporary keyword of the target card. Fragile. Remove the distort keyword. So I can permanently change a card and then use this to, to not do that. Discard a card from another realm? Brother, uh, they pulled a Minecraft block out of this? <laughs> what in the world is going on? Discover a card from another realm, not this card. I can't read brother what the frick does this mean i'm gonna take you but let it be known that i think i hate that choose between three new relics when the battle starts gain two tough i got no clue what that means um when an enemy's health bar is broken gain a d8's worth of block 
is crazy good. Okay, that's that's insanely good. Give me this little event. I'm keeping ahead of the curve too. I got lost in a group of people who were celebrating something. Before I knew it, I was squeezed onto a little stage and people were around me shouting, show us a trick. Okay, um... We're going to get Vertigo. When drawn, discard one random card from your hand. It's a, a Milady, a Perishable, and Exert. Okay, sure. Um, audience cheered. I'm really amazing. It's definitely like a curse that we're going to have to deal with here, but I'll deal with that soon. Uh, really hope that you don't jump anytime soon, my friend, uh, or we're going to see far more of you than we want. One drawn, discard a random card from my hand. So a, a malady can't be converted with mana. Exert this card if it stays in the hand at turn's end or is converted into mana. But I can't convert you into mana, right? Because you're a milady. Yeah. So I can't do that. Yep. Can't convert milady card to mana. Exert this card if it stays in hand at turn's end. And if I choose to just play it, it exerts it. So, I can just play you. Doesn't do anything. Which is fair enough. After I cast two cards, deal 10 damage. Oh, frick me. I've made a huge mistake. So, now we want to... Uh, well, now we're actually just screwed. So, you're, you're going to have a bad time. But I could permanently change this number to be higher, I suppose. Um, you're going to deal 10 damage to me. This is a miracle card. What if I, what if I, uh, what if I do mana? Does that do the same? Does that count as casting? It doesn't. So let's, let's do this. Then I'm going to cast this for 16 block. You're going to hit me for 10, which is fine. I'm now going to active. Well, you know what? Well, I guess that's fine. I activated it. I like to change this to three mana. That three mana, one blue out of it. I'm going to permanently change. I'm going to permanently change this number again. I like a six. Six is pretty cool. Then we can play this for block and this for a little bit of damage. And then violent, violet smoke, apparently, I cannot play because I do not have the mana required. Okay, reload your crossbow. You got a million mana on this turn. Uh, I will discover a card from another realm, which is Bucket of Lava. Okay, so that requires me discarding this and discarding this in order to draw this, which now I can get an Essence Flask to heal, deal four time damage to the enemy, repeat four times, and it requires a red, which I have... Which is cool. Deal seven damage to a random enemy. Kick twenty. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> give me, give me the chain gun. I can play you now. You're gonna deal eleven damage to me shortly, which I did not prepare for, and now I'm all fricked up. Um, and I would love to play this sword to hit you for ten, which would then do some stuff, but I, I don't, I don't think I need to. So I'm just gonna not worry about it. So let's let's strike you. You're dealing 12 damage to me here in a little bit. Let let's be intelligent about this. I'm going to strike you. Health bar broken. That draws me cards. Then I'm going to draw even more cards. This 16 damage is, is a really, really valuable card. This crossbow, also a really valuable card. Okay. But I do need. Well, no, I broke your thing now, so I don't need to do that anymore. This is also a 9 damage card, which is, is really good. I think you want to hit you for, for 12, okay? Hit you for 9. And then our man is in a weird spot. Um, unfortunately, I think I just end my turn. You having 28 health is, is real annoying. 14 damage after 2 casted cards. I'm going to discard this strike, and I'm going to discard this block to play Violet Smoke. It gave me, like, nothing, man. <laughs> Which is kind of unfortunate. Um, you now hit me, and I, I leave. So that's fine. Living the good life. Uh, 16 damage to you. 
Now, will you just not do anything? Like, are you gonna hit me for, for 17 here if I just straight up don't do anything? Oh, oh my god, this entire time I'm sitting here getting, getting attacked by you. I didn't even think about that. Uh, okay, so 12 damage, pretty good. But we would rather do this, because then that stays, stays active. Frick me. Deal damage based on a D12. Gain die bonus, and then add junk cards to my hand. You're frankly very fun. Um, so I'm just going to take you. I think it's just a fun card. I think it's a stupid card, but I think it's a fun card. We're all kinds of messed up, man. Long video, too. Long video. Okay. Uh, Vertigo, you're annoying. We don't like you. Discover a card from another realm. Requires a blue. You're currently not doing anything to me, so I can take the time to discover a card from another realm. Which, uh, seven burn seems awesome. Get nine Dropner Delicate. Duplicate. I can't read, man. It's, it's a real problem. Dropping their delicate is a get one. Get one of whatever that is. I don't even know what that is, which is a problem. Give me the bucket of lava, okay? Then let's send it. Burn your ass. Minecraft ya, okay? Then I'll play this just to get it out of my hand. I'll deal four damage to you. You got 80 health. You got 90 health. You got 92 health. I can't help but notice that's a lot of health, my guy. Um, so what if we just, what if we just not do that, and instead now you have 18 less health than before? That seems like a really good use of my time. Then I'm gonna hit you. Then I'm gonna hit you. It's gonna break your bar. Okay. Now, Slow Sword Miracle is active. Let's, let's increase our, our max mana. Give me a blue in there. Looking for a blue. No blue to be found. It's actually horrible. <laughs> it's the worst case scenario. Um, I'll hit you for seven. And then I guess we would prefer to just gain block equal to five, which is better than the three. That's okay. And these I can't play because my mana is, uh, frankly, just horrible. It's horrible mana. Bunch of mana I don't care about. So a little bit of everything requires a purple. Let's let's do that. So this is gonna deal some amount of damage to I gain blah sure, bunch of different stuff. Five damage. Now cracks ya. Folding stool breaks ya. I'm just gaining stuff left, right, and center. Um this is ten damage. And then I'm I'm out of cards. I mean, we, we busted through you pretty quick. You're getting stronger, um, but I think I can probably do 13 damage to you on this turn. So let's hit you for a 0 to 7. A 2 is, is horrible. I'm going to hit you with one of these for a little blindness. Hit you for 5. The 7 burn rounded down, unfortunately, is not going to be good enough. You're hitting me for 10. I'll just gain a uh, 12 block. You're going to hit me for, for an amount. I think I maybe took like one damage. And I'm going to hit you. Good enough for me, to be honest. A little bit of everything is just a fun card. I'm going to take another. Okay. Send me on my way. I really don't want to get caught behind the line. Two, two geese. Two geese. Kind of annoying. Um... Start by drawing cards, because that gives me a ton of potential. Now I can change some values. I'd like to do that, but not yet. We're going to start with this. That hits you. I'm going to... We're going to end up using this to gain more mana in a second. But let's start with this, so that we, we trigger our, our charms. We've gained a bunch of block. Now let's gain more mana. Any value here is good. Three is fine. Three's fine, but we need them to be good. These are pretty good. So, unstable portal to grab me something. Uh, this card's good. Especially against an enemy that we have right now where it's it's not too scary. Let's break you so we trigger even more stuff. Now we got 13 block. I can't do much with this mana. I could re-roll you, uh, but I, I think that we're probably better off just chilling. Okay. 
you rolled decently high, um, but overall not horrible. So, I'm gonna hit you. That broke your bar. Then we get a miracle. I'm gonna hit you. Beautiful. And then, frankly, love the idea of killing one of you. But little little wonky to do so because I'm overkilling you by a lot I think unfortunately you have to do it so take the goose out back eight block on my body uh, should be plenty you can't roll better than that so that's pretty good uh, and now we we get the good times rolling so 16 damage to you pull out the chainsaw <laughs> it's just messed up man <laughs> it's just messed up uh, and then we'll do this Five damage, we love it, okay. Draw cards and temporarily change the numbers on the draw cards to random values. This seems like just pure cluster of hell and I, I, I can't love it anymore. Lose seven HP, get the star. Permanently increase the target number by two. Permanently, permanently. You're awesome. You're, you're like super sick. I lose seven HP. But who cares, right? HP's for losers anyway. Put me into my next fight. I'm feeling good. We're, we're at the boss. That's a lot of birds. That is a, a frick load of birds. Okay, we're going to reload the crossbow. That's very, very important to me. Frankly, this is a terrible hand. It's just a terrible hand. So, that actually managed to hit you, which is amazing. That gives us a little bit of extra block. I'm then just going to play block. They're going to smack the hell out of me, man. Put me in a real tough spot. This is a terrifying fight. Draw cards temporarily change the numbers on those cards. Okay. Um, let, we, we have to play it, right? We have to play it to see what happens. So we're going to draw two cards. And then we're going to change the numbers on those cards to be D12s. So a little bit of everything is like baller here. Give me five mana. Then you play a little bit of everything to gain. I mean, you may put 12 junk cards in my hand. Oh, this is hell. Well, it's not really hell though. Cause we ended up gaining a bunch of stuff from this, right? Now we can play this, that gives me some power. Um, this is unfortunately our only play to get a little bit of block. I don't have any way to actually play cards, which is a problem. I'm taking another 10 damage here. I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting uh, killed by the birds, man. I'm, I'm in the damn movie. Okay, this card. Oh, for multicolored cards, it'll it'll randomly give you a color. I appreciate the purple. That's what we wanted all along. Okay, nine damage. We got the block. You guys get all messed up. Seven bleed. End of the turn, check 16. If failed, lose HP equal to bleed. I mean, that's fine. I'll, I'll put that on you. Bad apple made to gain some of that mana. This to gain some of that mana. The star permanently increases my target number by two. I'm gonna play that on my mana. Okay. Miracle is not active for this, so let's play this. A little bit of everything goes crazy every single time because we just gain a little bit of everything. Now, five damage, five damage. Is, is too many cards, <laughs> is too many cards. It's my own fault, okay? Because I, I probably, oh, what the frick, I'm rolling two dice. Because my dice power is high, right? Die bonus. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's even more terrifying, man. There's too much. There's too much to think about. Okay, four and then six to a random enemy. Lovely. Twelve with a crossbow. Can't play you. But what I can do is grab a card from another realm. Pandora's box. Oh, my God. You know what? Frick it. <laughs> No, this seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Um, this is five damage. We hit you. That then draws more cards. 
I'm in hell. I'm in hell. This is what hell looks like, is having a hundred cards. The turns are a thousand years long. Because I, I just want to, I just want to, like, play a strike. I just want to play a little strike. Just do a happy little, little playable strike, you know? Okay. Kill you? Love it. Crossbow me? Do this? Sniped. Kill him? A strike for four damage. It's so lame. It's so lame. How about we discard this block in order to hit you for five instead? It's just a terrible play. It's a terrible play. But I'll I hit you for six because I have extra power, which increases my attack damage. Very good. You're hitting me for seven. I got 36 block, brother. I'm not too concerned. You're hitting me for eight now. I'm still not too concerned. Pandora's box me. I've gained... Oh, what the hell is all this? Apply 16 distract and 16 butter hand. What a frick. Um, sure. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of things to unpack from that. I'm just gonna ignore it for right now. I hope that you're okay with that. I've gained some wonders. When drawn, add this. Okay, when drawn, add that. We, we did get that. Gonna hit you for five. <laughs> Try even more stuff. A miracle to hit you for, for ten. I'm all messed up. Discover a modifier card. No, let's discover a magical dice card, man. Then we'll go here, which is a happy little resting spot. I will heal my HP, and then I'll go fight the boss, which frankly is probably a mess. It's the Pig King again. He's a little different this time around, but he, he's still here. So we would like to discard this. I really wanted a purple, though. Reload my crossbow, draw some cards. Okay. Total disorientation is a lot of fun. But, I first have to do this to change you to a three. Give me good mana. That's not good mana, my guy. It's horrible mana. This is Miracle. You're deciding how to do things next. What if I just start whittling down your health via dice rolls, right? I think that this is somewhat a good idea. Because it's essentially, every time I use that, I'm dealing, like, a, an alarming amount of damage to you. So let's discover... I don't have the mana for that. Fair enough. Um, let's just hit you. Okay. Which then gives me all of these. That discards a random card. I can't play anything in my hand, so just chill. You're reducing your fatigue. Fatigue check succeeded. You're dealing 16 damage to me. Uh, let's discover a magical dice card. Temporarily increase the target number by a dice roll. Okay. That's going to be fun. Miracle is not active. I can still hit you for, for a chunk, though. The thing is, I feel like I have to... I got to whittle you down, right? So, let's... I'm going to need block. So, let, let's play this card for five. This card I'm going to discard to get a purple. We're going to temporarily increase the target number by another dice roll, which is four. So give me the mana back. Then we're going to gain block, and then I'm going to hit you for ten. I don't have enough mana. That requires a blue as well. Fair enough. That's fine. I'm going to take damage. A chunk of, of damage. But I'm, I'm fine with that. We little bit of everything... We could total disorientation, which do be enjoyable. It do be. But I think you want a little bit of everything, okay? Folding stool you can't play right now. This adds a blue. This adds power to me. Total disorientation, still fun. <laughs> no matter what, it is enjoyable. Um, you're not miracle. This, this I can do five damage to you. I'd rather gain the five block, because I intend on whittling down your health in other ways. So now discard this. That gives me a blue. Gain your block. Hitting you really does not do anything, and then I can't convert you because I need the basic mana. Okay, you're going to attack me for a lot. 19, which is a, it's a decent number. We got to start with the well-prepared. You got to play into the little bit of everything, okay? So a little bit of everything to, to get a bunch of stuff. We're going to add 
some bleed to you. We're gonna add some regular mana. We're gonna add a random card to our hand. Um, I guess you're just going to put block on. That's your best available block card. This sucker is still charging. Unfortunately, um, it's gonna be charging for the rest of eternity. I've I've used up all of that time. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna die. Is the reality. We, we do not have the juice to, to make this work. Maybe it's the unstable portal. But I'm going to tell you, there is a, a large part of me that thinks that that's probably not going to happen. So let's discard you to a purple. We'll play a little bit of everything. Add a random card. Add a purple. Add a red. Add a blue. That was a green. Never mind. Draw three cards or add two blue. I'm going to draw three cards. I can then discard this to get this, which plays Total Disorientation, which draws ten cards with different values on them. I think is what that necessarily meant. Which feels excessive, for sure. I can play this for 5 damage, which then I played this for 5 damage. Which then I broke your, your bar, so I draw more stuff. I... It's a lot. It's a lot. I somehow have a lot of cards in my deck. You're hitting me for 17. It's gonna be a problem. We need the gain block. So, take cover is pretty good. 16 block. And then we, we do probably want to unstable portal to get a new card in here. Seven blocks seems like a good idea. Um, I can't play you, which is a, a sad day. I still gotta do 150 damage to you, which is a big, big problem. That's a big problem. So, a little bit of everything. Five damage. We, we, we have the dice bonus, which is good. But the problem is that I, I need more to that, right? Like, we rolled a 12 here. That's <laughs> too many cards. We can deal 5 damage. You mobile bunker. We, we got a, a draw 3 or add 2 blue. I'm gonna add 2 blue in this scenario. Miracle is active. I mean, we can add a block. I mean, we definitely want to add this. Tough damage taken is halved. Really, we get stuck with these greens a lot of the time, which is a difficult play. I'm taking 19 damage here. I am losing some block. We need a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything always because we, we just get too much value from it. We get another 9 block. We mystery box, total disorientation. I mean, you might as well. Right? You still have the dice bonus? What the frick, man? I'm about to draw like a thousand cards. That's 12 cards we're... we're... I, I have something off with the total disorientation, but... It's fine. Gain a power. Gain a power. Gain block. Add a red. The red is really not valuable for me. I end my turn. I'm not dying, but like, it's... It's close. I mean, we can't kill you. I, I will lose. And it's because I, I, I went a little... I went a little too chaotic on this one. <laughs> it was just just a lot. It was just a lot. Um, we, we did some funky... Funky things here. I do got 25 block. I mean, theoretically... We, we lose another 10 of it. That's fair. Um, if I do this, and then I do this we can do that to gain another 12 block then we convert you to get another eight block is 35 gonna be enough 32 okay it was enough but i mean we're it's just not quite enough right e even with the the additional oh well i just gained a lot of stuff though let's use up these reds folding chair comes out folding stool comes out Add a purple, add a red, mystery box me, it's a blue. Add a green, add a, add a white, slow sword, I can discard this block to, to slow sword, which is going to deal like a lot of damage. That was 11 damage, there's actually still a chance. There's a chance in hell. 
Add this, add this. Now we're we're kinda stuck. It's this dice bonus that's that's driving our run right now. But it's this next turn is gonna be problematic for me. So 20 damage. 20 damage. Discard you. Take cover. Then you die. <laughs> then you die. Um, rest in peace. It was a good try, okay? It was a good try. It's a wacky game. I mean, it's just a wacky game is the only way to word it. I'm, I'm not smart enough for this. Uh, hopefully you are, though. You, you can find it linked in the description down below and start the, the nonsense that is Dysomancer. Uh, I think this is probably the most unique game I've played this year and actually will be such a banger game when it releases uh, because people are going to do some crazy things with this. You, you have to check this one out. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. As always, liking the video, much appreciated. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.